Hello, I hope you're doing good today. It's a beautiful sunny day in my house. Makes a change from all the rain we've had. I got some new home decor for my French style farmhouse. I'm really excited. One of my favorite stores was having a sale. I just picked up three things. So I thought I'd show you what I got and then I'd decorate with them. Let's open the first thing. That is so cool. It is so cute add to my jug collection they're actually really amazing jugs from french country collections because they're so solid and well made if that makes sense oh look i don't have to try and achieve that look myself oh no how the heck how am i gonna get that to stick on again it's almost like it needs welding on I do love it though. It looks kind of like the one I made. And that basket there is actually from French Country Collections. But it was just silver when I bought it. So from the same place. And I haven't shown you this. Remember the cabinet? I haven't finished it. I haven't distressed anything on it. But I <laughs> ended up just putting one of the transfers on it. I just have to finish it. But I'm just going to sit it there for the meantime. I took all the hardware off because when people use things like doors and windows, I just like to take the hardware off. But as I said, it will look much better when it's distressed. Should we go and put them in place and have a bit of a redecorate? So I was thinking about getting my white jugs out of the cabinet and putting them up there on either side of the mirror just for a change. So those three jugs are from French Country Collections and those two jugs are from French Country Collections and if I put this third little one down, it is also from French Country Collections. So this one's got a few marks on it because I dropped a white jug once and it fell on that one. I might just change these around a bit because all the tall ones are there and it looks a little bit odd. I need to have a taller one there as well. This one actually matches that one. That's like the baby sister of that one. <laughs> okay, I will leave it like that for the moment. I probably will change it at some stage. And it doesn't help that that side there <laughs> isn't as wide as that side. But I really like them up there just for a change. And I won't put anything in them. I think I just want to... <laughs> I'm going to use a word, celebrate them for what they are. Oh, that's not the right word, is it? So I'm going to have to take some of this stuff away. I want to put the photos, the pictures. I always call them photos, they're not photos, they're pictures. In the back here. I love this tray. It is from Early Settler, if you live in New Zealand or Australia. A couple of years ago. But the actual tray but really needs repainting so excuse that but it's almost like it's a bit boho shabby chic I really like it it just adds a bit of interest in my lounge room with the detail you could use it for so many decor styles that's why I really like stuff like this it looks good in my house and then it could look good in a boho house if you want to use labels <laughs> but for the meantime I'm going to stick one of these there Probably this one because it's not so tall. It 
It's really cool. I love what they've done with the patina on this. I think that's straight enough. And this one, oh, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Let me know what your favourite thing out of the three things, including the jug with the dots, was that I picked up today. This is hands down my favourite thing of the three and it's, <laughs> it's quite ironic because it's the broken thing but I really like it. Mm -hmm. 